Are we finally going to get a reboot of the Six Million Dollar Man? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Movie channel. So since 2015, Mark Wahlberg has been signed on to produce and star in The Six Billion Dollar Man, a reboot of the original Lee Majors TV series. Now personally, I can't wait for this. It's been put back over and over again. Peter Berg, a regular collaborator with Mark Wahlberg, left the project really early on. There's been multiple script rewrites and I'm sure COVID has slowed things down as well. But Mark Wahlberg keeps talking about it, he keeps pushing it and it looks like it's going to happen. Travis Knight has now signed on as the director following his success of Bumblebee and has a good working relationship with Mark Wahlberg already. So it looks like this is in now in pre-production and actually could start filming any time, potentially by the summer. But what can we expect from this new movie, this six billion dollar man? The original book by Martin Caden back in 1972 called The Cyborg was slightly darker and more gritty than the version that we then got on TV screens in 1973 starring Lee Majors. The Glenn A. Larson effect of the TV series made that he didn't really kill anyone and nobody really got hurt as normal for those sort of TV shows. Remember the 18, bullets flying everywhere, nobody even got a scratch. Well I don't think we'll get that in the Mark Wahlberg version. I could see this being far more like the original book where Steve Austin's character would actually kill people wherever necessary to fulfill the mission and didn't really have any remorse. He was far more robotic in his way of dealing with the job at hand. Even though the TV series shared many of the quite dark moments of the book, like Steve Austin's early attempt to commit suicide as he tried to come to terms with what had happened to him, it did lack some of the grittiness, like I say, his more robotic nature that was tried to reflect in the book that they didn't really try to convey in the series. Now I think the relationship between technology and man is different today than it was when this series was first produced. We actually have a far closer relationship with technology today and certain technologies like the advances in prosthetics and some of the work Elon Musk is doing to create neural links, he actually wants to plug our brains directly into technology, means that this relationship is going to get more and more complicated as time goes by. We as a culture still today struggle with catching up with the internet and modern technologies it advances every single day. And this Mark Wahlberg movie, if I was producing it, would reflect that on our relationship with technology and how do we cope with it. But mentioning the technology and how it's advanced, will we see the robotic legs that he can do 60 miles an hour and strength of a bulldozer and the robotic eye like we saw in the original series? I don't think there'd be much reason to change it a great deal. In fact, it made it more realistic today because those technologies are reasonably close to reality. It was only about a week ago that a lady had the first prosthetic eyeball, um, an eyeball that actually is giving her some limited vision. This technology is actually on the cusp of becoming reality, so they would only have to push that envelope to its maximum for it to be still a realistic science fiction TV show even if he can see miles with his eyeball or as long as they don't start having laser beams or anything like they did in some of the comics it's going to be a very realistic sci-fi show as i say in the book and the tv series with lee majors he was always kind of a reluctant spy he never really wanted to be a spy and he was sort of forced into it by the oso and the osi I'm certain they'll reflect that again in the new film because it makes it a far more interesting character and gives depth to his character. That he doesn't want to be doing this and working for the government the way he is, but at the same time he is a patriot and he will do what is necessary. Also the geopolitical landscape that we live in today means that there are loads of stories that they could explore. Um, the war on terror, the people ISIS, uh, complicated relationship with China and Russia means that there are lots of things that our Steve Austin could be keeping himself busy with. But I do think this is an opportunity in this film to explore, as I say, the relationship we have with technology today. It's a complicated relationship we have already and this could be reflected in the internal turmoil of Steve Austin himself, trying to contemplate what 
basically is done to him after the accident, which meant that he had to have an arm, two legs and an eyeball replaced. There's also the opportunity to, again, if they have this neural link technology that Elon Musk is working on today, is it Steve Austin's brain or is it the technology? Similar to sort of Doc Ock in the Spider-Man movies or the more recent Robocop terrible movie that they made, that the robot can actually take over the human side and take control. Could that also be a problem for Steve Austin? Are we ever going to be really sure when he acts the way he does? whether it's the programming or the man. Now it won't be a shock if this never happens. They've been trying to reboot the $6 million man for years. It was 2011 when Kevin Smith's um, unproduced script got turned into a comic book with Dynamite Comics. In 2014, Dynamite Comics went on to do a series six comic as well, which followed on from the original TV series. Both comics were very popular and really lead on to why this series is still popular today and we still all know about Lee Majors and the slow motion running and all that sort of thing. That is one risk for this film actually. I don't want to see them sort of making fun of that too much. If they have one little joke about it that'll be okay but I remember sort of when they did the Thunderbirds movie a few years ago, the live action, I don't know if you remember that, and they sort of actually had the actors sort of going, Ugh. it was just stupid and it kind of ruined the film. Um, I don't think Mark Wahlberg is stupid enough to do that, but if they try to have tongue-in-cheek fun or poke fun at the original TV series too much, it's going to ruin the movie. So what do I actually think? Is this going to happen? It is still in pre-production, but it's been in pre-production for seven years. Mark Wahlberg does have other projects on the go as well. It's been a decade since the first sort of script was produced by Kevin Smith that they tried to produce. So I think this will happen, but I won't hold my breath. And if I was a betting man, I wouldn't put a lot of money on it. So what do you think? Do you want to see the six billion dollar man on our TV screens? Uh, will it be released at the cinema or will it just go straight to Amazon like I suspect it might? If you do see it, what sort of story do you want to see? Do you want to see something with a bit of fun or do you want to see something that's a bit darker and gritty? Please leave a comment, tell me what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, it really helps us out. And you can, for a small fee, join the channel and become a side trekker and help me produce more content. So please hit the join button. Also, you can join us on Facebook, there is a link in the description. As always guys, please stay safe and I'll see you very soon.